The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 379 pounds, the irresistible force, Matthew Willis and Colin O'Day. Guys, we have a big-time tag team match coming up here. A big-time match with big-time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 343 pounds, Grand Metalik, and Lince Dorado. With Grand Metalik, Byron, we're almost guaranteed to see something we've never seen before. And that's what makes Grand Metalik matches can't miss. men are in the ring and Oof. set to start things off here we're ready to go when i think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's wwe i absolutely think of these two teams oh the old head scissor oh nasty impact stumble here and you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now it looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he could tag in here oh what impact His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think that's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Penny predicament. Corey, if 
few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, you're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. And he got a near fall out of it. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback. He's got the shoulders down. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. A barrage of strikes. Endless. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. His feet. Yeah, no kidding. What an incredible moonsault. Oh, it's over. In off the tag. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Boom, what impact! Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Uh-oh. Northern Lights! Oh, not done yet. There's more. Brain Buster! Oh boy, he is rolling. Nailed it. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Going for broke. This might be it. Oh my, this could be it, guys. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. You gotta believe this one's over. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. That'll mess up the back of your neck. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Enziguri, when this guy's on, look out. Oh, man. Boom! <laughs> Yeah. 
Here comes Michael. Stunner. This one's over, guys. Uh-oh. No other lights. Oh, not done yet. There's more. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day... We've seen this before. Big rally. His shoulders are down. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. He's looking at it. Oh my gosh, what a dive! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Could be the beginning of the end. Right to the back of the net. Can he finish the job? Lindsay Dorado is just getting overwhelmed. He might have it. Beautiful technique. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's going for it all. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Smash. Games. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And we have our winners. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. Here are your winners, the irresistible force, Matthew Willis and Colin O'Day. Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody.